Museveni uh, trying to clamp down on the opposition. Now there's new development there where the Forum for Democratic Change, that is FDC party members, and other opposition politicians yesterday intensified their efforts to reinforce their petition to the International Criminal Court against President Museveni and some key security and government officials by launching a bid to collect supporting uh, signatures from across the country. Now, FTC launched the bid at the offices of four-time presidential candidate Kize Besije on Katonga Road in Kampala. And uh, during the launch, FDC said they are seeking two million signatures from Ugandans. Dr. Uh, Bissija, I should say, invited all of the elite. He assured the volunteers of confidentiality. He said this, we shall treat your evidence with utmost confidentiality so that you are not persecuted. That is what he said. And maybe also you need to grab a copy of the Daily Monitor for this particular developing story uh, if you're in Uganda. It's a stop story there, not, uh, not really the, the splash, but opposition seeks two million signatures for ICC petition. And uh, I, I saw last week, this will be our final story, uh, maybe we can chime in on this. Do you think these signatures will make any discernible difference uh, bringing, you know, Museveni to the ICC and the way ICC has been debated here, you know. And I don't think that Busija is a wrong place in 80, uh, during 1992 was because they, the opposition ganged up on him and he knows um, uh, Besiji. They work together in the bush and I think he's not taking him seriously. And uh, Besiji normally does things in his, by, by his, in, in uh, destabilization of this Museveni regime because Ugandans are sick and tired of it. I pissed off. So, uh, Uganda needs um, an opening. It's part of East Africa. Uganda is my country. Uh, the, uh, my people are over there, the Nyankole, the Himas, they are <laughs> children of my great great grandfathers. Uh, and we don't, want, we don't want them to suffer after Museveni goes there because then we will say that, oh, these people were doing this, it's our time to oppress them. This is the kind of vicious cycle that we don't want. We want Museveni to find a process in which he can leave power and bring someone in and so that Uganda's stability is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's hear from uh, Dr. Hassan Kanenje. Well, uh, I think uh, planning to kill your opponent is not an incentive to have them leave power. <laughs> and it's a terrible strategy for, mm -hmm. for, for Besige. It can be popular, you know, with human rights movements and stuff like that. But we have to be real realistic in how, how politics play out. Uh, President Museveni has been in power for, when he came through... Uh, the battle of the gun. The ba battle mm. of the gun, you know. And, and when you threaten to take him to the ICC, he'll be laughing yeah. at you, actually. Mm -hmm. One thing on which I didn't state in this, uh, uh, on this uh, panel the last week was, uh, you remember what IPPG did, mm -hmm. you know, in 1998? Yeah. And mechanisms in place that at least was not going to kill Moy after he dies or put him in prison. Mm -hmm. And that alone, psychologically, it gives someone a sense of security to even try to compromise. Mm -hmm. There is some seven years one man, there is some seven years that has been cultivated <laughs> for. 30 years, Good you understand? Yes. It's very, very hard if you're threatening because it's not just it representing himself. Remember, there are lots of other interests, and he also actually has some support in Uganda. Yeah. And so we can't just wish him away. Museveni, uh, uh, Besije, who was Museveni's doctor, yes. actually, has to have a strategy that, first of all, can give some sense of security that if you leave power, and those people around you, you're not necessarily going to be taken to the ICC or anywhere else. Yep. Look, fine, we, some horrible things have been done, mm -hmm. but it's about time perhaps we mm -hmm. had changed this country. Thank you. Outside that, it's going to be very difficult for him right. to succeed. Right. Right. General? Dibal, from uh, where I come from, the military yeah. background, mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to discuss politics. <laughs> you know, and issues that uh, go around how to bring about uh, change. Yes. So in that regard, I want to say that uh, my colleague, the Colonel, Colonel Besigye, uh, I think I've taken the right approach in this instance, in the sense that he is looking for peaceful means, uh, which uh, again will bring attention both into the country and tell also the president that, uh, yes, we are concerned and we feel that uh, it's time to, uh, to move on. Other than that, on the international scene, to say, yes, we are asking for your support, it's a peaceful means, we don't want to kill anymore, mm -hmm. please support us. And I'm sure that peaceful means, in some way, in a small way, a yes. big way, definitely bring about or initiate that change that we desire. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ambassador Rasis Moencha. Last comments. Why did you skip uh, <laughs> Professor <laughs> Kim? <laughs> <laughs> still, uh, Professor Kim <laughs> Because I'm, op I'm still on probation. <laughs> 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 it's uh, <laughs> uh, Ambassador. Okay. 
I think BCJ is just uh, trying to seek publicity in a very cheap way. Mm -hmm. And I think this is not the right way to go about it because you cannot take signatures to ICC and say <laughs> this is the evidence now induct somebody. And uh, 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 let, let me... Uh, <laughs> 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 Professor Naomi Damba. <laughs> I saw BCJ also retweeting uh, your comment. Your comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He you watched the show. Maybe he's watching it. They're buddies, eh? Did you advise BCJ uh, on this move? Uh, no, I'm actually like the general. Mm. I, I, I don't get in this political yes. scenario. Mm. I talk as a political scientist and I try to impress upon people uh, facts yeah. such that they okay. face tyranny uh, prevail when good people are silent. Yes, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. tyranny prevails when good, yeah. good people are and silent. Uh, yes. uh, every Ugandans need to understand sure. that uh, in order to turn that country Around. into their own. Right. Yeah. On that note, uh, mm -hmm. we don't want uh, Peter Kagonya to yeah. be silent on this as well. Mm -hmm. I think, as a politician, politicians are very different from uh, Kraji, who is a puppet. They are very different from businessmen and enterprises. Uh, BCJ is a politician, and therefore he's looking for a strategy that gives him popularity. Yes. This is on yeah. 200 uh, uh, million. Mm -hmm. uh, here we have seen our friend, uh, the, the, the Punguza Mizigo, and uh, uh, the signature. If you, you had written him off 100, I mean 100 days before, uh, now you don't. Mm -hmm. So the strategy is a good political strategy. Is it going to be of any use? No. No. Uh, is it going to be of help to Uganda? No. Mm -hmm. Because it's, uh, I think it's Hanenja who says, you know, when they threatened. Robert Mugabe with ICC after he left power. Mm -hmm. What happened? Robert Mugabe said he would die in power. Until he was so old in power, he couldn't act f because the future is not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So the Kenyan uh, template need to be taken a little Thank bit you. seriously. Thank you. That in Zemoy, you have safely the future, just leave power peacefully. And Thank that's you. it. Mm -hmm. right. So in Uganda, Museveni has rebuilt that country. Anybody who was in Uganda in 1990, yeah. if you stood the street of Kampala in 1990, and you go to Kampala today where our Busia people are having their breakfast from Uganda because it's half the price of the Kenyan because then you know what we're talking about. Museveni has his place in Uganda's history. He needs to you. be honored. But at the same time, uh, and, and therefore his security must be guaranteed in that regard. Thank you. Right, we need to wind up, uh, and uh, we just wanted to give you a snippet of what is happening in the world briefly, uh, just to, as you see, forces use tear gas and fired in the air to disperse. Uh, this is Omo Omoyo Leso, already the founder of local news site Sahara Reporters and Candidates in uh, February's presidential polls, uh, who has been detained for treason. And uh, that is what is happening in Nigeria. Also, if we head over to Hong Kong, um, still things are very bleak in that country, uh, as it is right now. Uh, they awoke to a third straight day of chaos today following a night of intense battles between pro-democracy protesters and riot police on a university campus that saw some of the most violent scenes in more than five months of unrest. They will show thousands of protesters in Santiago. Look at that. This is what is happening in the world right now. Violent protests broke out in Chile's capital, Santiago. This is yesterday as the country's currency dropped to a historic low after Sebastian Pinera and security forces close to the presidential palace that is in Chile. And uh, just also to inform you, in uh, Mauritius, they have now a new prime minister. Oh. And uh, he was, uh, this is uh, Jugnoth. We can see him taking oath um, after election win. Mauritius incumbent prime minister Pravind uh, Jugnoth was sworn in for a five-year term on Tuesday after elections in which his coalition consolidated its grip on parliament. That is just a brief of what is happening in the world currently. Uh, we stop for time. I won't give you guys uh, time to uh, give your closing remarks. But if you, you do so, just 10 seconds. Quickly. Uh, 10, well, 10. Uh, Counting. Mine, mine is uh, just to say thanks to the crew. We have never, uh, nobody says thanks to the crew. So Aima, CK, David, Jackie, Eve, Peke, Levy, Rudia, Jane, Brown, and Immaculate. Thank you so much for all the work you do. All right.